Thank you for listening to Discovering the Scriptures with Dr. Peter John Parisis. Currently, we are in Daniel, chapter 5, verse 23. Reading from the King James Bible, quote, But hast lifted up thyself against the Lord of heaven, and they have brought the vessels of his house before thee, and thou and thy lords, thy wives, and thy concubines, have drunken wine in them, and thou hast praised the gods of silver and gold, of brass, iron, wood, and stone, which see not, nor hear, nor know. And the God in whose hand thy breath is, and whose are all thy ways, hast thou not glorified. Let's go to God in prayer first before we can go further with this. Father, you have assigned this ministry to me to do, and I know and trust you that you'll give me the knowledge and wisdom, but I'm also asking that you'll give the knowledge and wisdom to those who are listening, who have actively put away all prayer hindrances, and who seek you out. Please help each one of us to hear the Holy Spirit and be obedient to him who is our teacher. Help us to hear and be obedient to Jesus when he speaks with us. Help us to thank each one, the Holy Spirit and Jesus, for praying for us. And thank you for listening, for all that you do for us. At the end of this prayer, a moment of silence, I give to you, asking that you would speak with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Now you can hit the pause button if you need more time. Now let's go ahead and read this in Young's Little Translation. Quote, And against the Lord of the heavens thou hast lifted up thyself, and the vessels of his house they have brought in before thee, and thou and thy great men thy wives and thy concubines are drinking wine with them and gods of silver and of gold of brass of iron of wood and of stone that are not seen nor hearing nor knowing thou hast praised and the god in whose hand is thy breath and all thy ways him thou hast not honored unquote. now i want you to listen to this verse in context first before we go any further with this. So you can see what's going on here. Remember that Daniel is around 90 years old when he's talking to this young ruler. Daniel chapter 5 verse 22 through 24 reading from the King James Bible quote, And thou his son, O Belshazzar, hast not humbled thine heart, though thou knewest all this. But hast lifted up thyself against the Lord of heaven, and they have brought the vessels of his house before thee, and thou and thy lords, thy wives, and thy concubines have drunk wine in them, and thou hast praised the gods of silver and gold, of brass, iron, wood, and stone, which seeth not, nor hear, nor know, and the God in whom hand thy breath is, and whose are all thy ways hast thou not glorified? Then was the part of the hand set from him, and this writing was written. Unquote. Okay, now I want to go ahead and point out that I've listened to through the Bible's commentary on this verse, and I don't agree with him. So I'm going to point out some things in the scriptures for you to hear. And then we'll talk about it. In your uh, Bible, they have brought, so let's look at that. It is to come arrive. And this is a Hiphil verb. So let's look at that. We look at the um, 
definition of what it means. It means to bring. So we have attributed, they have brought, to bring his house of, and the vessels thee. You have lifted yourself up of heaven thee, Lord, and against your wives and your lords, and you, you, before you, bronze and gold of silver and and gods from them hath drunk wine and your concubines or hear or do see not which and stone wood and iron owns your ways and all in his hand your breath who holds and God thee, you have praised, known, no, you have glorified not. Now, I want to bring this to you because as I was listening to, through the Bible, Xavier and McGee thought that Daniel was basically rubbing this in when he was basically preaching, in his opinion, to this ruler. But when I look at this verse, to see what's going on here. I don't see that. How many 90 plus year olds do you know that are going to come and rub something in your face? It struck me kind of funny. Now, if you had been younger, yeah, maybe. Yeah, that might be your, your style. But you're 90 years old plus. That's not your style. You have seen things. You know that God's in control. You know he's in charge. That's not your style of how to do things. And if it is, you're usually very bitter. I don't see Daniel as a churlish or bitter man. I see him delivering news to this ruler that he knows he's going to be put to death immediately. Why would he rub it in his face? For what purpose? Because these people here at this uh, party, who's going to live through it? So what's the purpose? Doesn't seem to me to be the way. So let's go ahead and parse this out now. But has lifted up. Okay, let's parse this out of the Aramaic. This is at high foot. It's spelled H-I-T-H-P-O-L-E-L. And it is a causative reflective. What this means is that there has been a, a reflective pronoun used. And there's a subject is acted upon. And there's the action... Is his choice or not? Doesn't matter, but you have to get and have, or done to or for, is what that means. So we're gonna go forward. Perfect aspect. So it's completed. Let's continue on now with the parsing. But hast lifted up thyself against the Lord of Heaven, and they have brought. Let's parse that out. Aphel stem. Positive conjunction. Perfect aspect, which means it's been completed. Positive conjunction. Continuing. And they have brought the vessels of his house before thee, and thou and thy lords, thy wives, and thy concubines have drunk. As far as thought, have drunk. P.O. stem, casual. Participle aspect, to be. Continuing. Wine in them and thou hast praised. Let's parse out in them, and thou hast praised. Pile, which is an intensive form of the verb, and perfect aspect, which is complete. Continuing, the gods of silver and gold, of brass, iron, wood, and stone, which see, let's parse out that, PL stem, casually written, active participle to be. Continuing, not, nor here. Let's go ahead and parse that out. P.O. stem, participle aspect. So it's casually written and complete. Continuing. Nor no. Parse that out. P.O. stem, casually written. Active participle. So active to be. And the God in whose hand thy breath is, and whose are all thy ways, thou has not 
glorified. This part's not glorified. Pale, stem, intensive form of the verb, perfect aspect, complete. Now, I'm going to take a look at the phrases and see if there's anything that we need to note. I just finished looking at all the phrases that were used in Daniel to see if any of them were used in any part of Daniel's other writing. The only other one noted were the ones that he used with Belshazzar, talking about Nebuchadnezzar lifting himself up against God and what happened. That's it. The rest of it gives us nothing uh, as far as Daniel's writings and meanings uh, of this verse or in his book. So let's continue on now with John Gill's commentary. Quote, But hast lifted up thyself against the Lord of heaven, who made it and dwells in it, from whence he beholds all the actions of the children of men, and will bring them to an account of them. And yet, though so high and great, such was the insolence of this king, that he dared to lift up himself against him, as he was above him and greater than he. And indeed, so it may be rendered above the Lord of heaven, which showed his great pride and vanity, his want of knowledge, both of himself and of the true God. The name of God is the same with, I'm going to spell it, B-E-E-L-S-A-M-E-N, by which the Phoenicians used to call him. And they have brought the vessels of his house before thee, that is, his servants, by his orders, had brought the vessels of the temple at Jerusalem, which Nebuchadnezzar had took from them, and set them upon his table for him, and his company to drink out of, which is an instant of the pride of his heart, and of his daring boldness and impiety. You can look at Daniel 5.2. Continuing, And thou and thy lords, thy wives and thy concubines, had drunk wine in them, even that very day or night, this Daniel had knowledge of by some means or another, and his intelligence was so good that he could with great certainty affirm it. And thou hast praised the gods of heaven, of gold, of brass, iron, wood, and stone. So Daniel 5.4 Which see not, nor hear, nor know no more than the various metals and materials of which they are made. And therefore it must be great madness and folly to praise such as gods that are below men, and even brutes, which have neither the sense of animals nor the knowledge of men. See Psalms 115, verse 4. Reading from the King James Bible, quote, Their idols are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. Unquote. Continuing. And the God in whose hand thy breath is, who gave it to him at first, and as yet continued it in him, and could take it away when he pleased, and whose are all thy ways, counsels and designs, works and actions, under whose direction and control they all are, the events, issue, and success of which all depend upon him. See Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 23. Reading from the King James Bible, quote, O Lord, I know that the way of man is not in himself, it is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. Unquote. Continuing. Him hast thou not glorified, by owning him as the only true God, ascribing all he was and had unto him, and giving due worship, adoration, and honor to him, but, on the contrary, setting up his idol gods above him, and treating him and everything belonging to him with enigmity and contempt. It's then John Gill's commentary on this verse, Daniel 5, 23. Let's take a look at some things that we're talking about here. The reason I went into such great depth is that I had the privilege of knowing some people that are in their 90s before they were promoted on to glory. In the last few years, some very, very intimately, I got to know them quite well people who walk with God. I don't believe for a second that Daniel stood here before the king, knowing all that he knew, spending time with God as much as he did, 
was going to rub anything at anybody's face. That's just not the way it's done. He's presenting to him everything that God's given him to do. This is his ministry. To do less would be to sin. To do more would be to sin. As we found out with Jonah. So he is there doing what he is told to do. And that's all he is doing. Now, we're about to go further into this to find out exactly what was written on the wall. But Daniel knew what God had told him as he was going in and while he was talking with him. Because God was talking with him and had spoken with him. And was continuing. That's the way God works. So let's go forward. Find out more what's going to happen as we continue to listen to this program. Please let others know about this ministry. If you have comments you'd like to make, please do so. Anything God's given you that could add light onto this would be wonderful. Also, please hit the subscribe button if you want to hear anything more. And the little bell button below it. And that way you'll be notified when more happens. This channel is dedicated to Christian living. And currently is solely sponsored by God and God alone. If you'd like to help, you need to buy the merchandise below that I have designs. I don't think I don't think God's word needs much more than just the plain truth. To overdo it is to try to glorify man, to make it simple and get the message out. Also you can hit the advertisers who have chosen to advertise on this channel to see their products and by also doing that. We get a stipend from it, a uh, very small stipend. And that so far is what God has given me for support, just over $300 a month. So I'm a working minister, and I have to work to pay my bills. So the more support I get, the less I have to work. Currently, I'm working about 50 to 60 hours, sometimes more. You might be wondering, how can I help support Discovering the Scriptures so that Dr. Peter John Parisis can go ahead and spend more time doing the verse-by-verse -verse commentary and getting this ministry out to the world, both now and in the future. Because as we know, Through the Bible has been done by Dr. Vernon McGee, and it's been out for about 30 to 50 years, depending on what section you're looking at. That's easy. If I was to have 20 supporters give... $25 a month. I could cut my overtime out, work 40 hours a week, and be able to spend an additional 20 hours putting out this verse-by-verse -verse commentary. That is a lot of commentary to be able to put out per week. But that's what I would be able to do. So if you want to personally support this ministry by giving $25 a week, and I get 20 people that do that, I can knock out my overtime. But for every $25 that I get, I'm able to knock out one hour of overtime per week. So if I see it, I'll go ahead and diminish it from my overtime and put it into the commentary. If you want to do that, please do so. The information is down below. Thank you, and God bless. God bless. You have a good day.